Indians. This water being translated to millions of Indians through the pen of an eminent scientist, late Dr. APJ Kalam. Good morning in Jane. I am the Chief Nail on I welcome you to 10 a.m. news from this point. We are going to pay homage to a great scholar, statesman, philosopher, and above all, a teacher, Dr. A.P.J. Kalam, who is first at university. Little picture, love the Nashama knew that he decided to grow up to be the first citizen of India, the 11th president of India, while he acclaimed as the people's president. A pioneer of country space and himself program passed away on July 27th. After collapsing during a lecture, I am Shalom, a teacher, till the million used to say, if the people remember me as a good teacher, that would be the biggest honor for me. A visionary and a dreamer, Dr. Kalam always wanted the world to be in peace and harmony. He used to say, say in India, where there is righteousness in the heart, where there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the whole. When there is harmony in the home, there is harmony, when there is an order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. Our best born in Krishna has paid a fallen journey of his life. Kalam was always accessible to everyone, from lowest contributing person to highest ranking scientist. He always remembered a debate between three people, his father Jainu Rabdin, and Imam in the mosque, Bakshi Dhamthana Sasugal, Radhik Scholar and Head Priest of the famous Samishram Temple, Liberal Francis Bordel, who built the first church on the island. As a 10 year old boy, Kalam had learned secularism in its true sense. Now, throughout the nation and the world, a need for such frank and genial dialogue among cultures, religions, and civilization is more urgent than ever. Born in 1931 and brought up in Brahmeshwaram, he got a Nathan engineering degree from MIT Madras. He joined the RDO for later on his transfer to Istro, where he was chief of Agni and Pithi missiles program. Chief coordinator of nuclear test at Bokran, later he became principal scientific advisor to the government of India in 1999. Later in 2002, he became the president of India. Our editor in chief, Shishti, interviewed several people across the states and had taken views of the land. Let's have a look. I am the Sensei of Hume, the former president of India. I always admire his passion for vision and appreciate much of it. The concluding words echo the general of Dr. Kalam's spiritual saga. All of us, by athletes and committed religionists, need to awaken now and help Earth's fall. The only thing that will redeem humankind is cooperation. This thing applied to all the people. A strong person looking back at last strong man who only thought for our country's progress to cherish the youth as the hope of the future. Dr. Kalam is known. It remains in the heart of every Indian. That's all for today. Hope to see you soon. Till then, have a great day.